Fantastic BBL4. He goes big. Not quite a boundary. Oh, oh athletic on the boundary. Is that Ben Lachlan? He might have been. Good hang time there, Bumble. <laughs> That's a Fox Olympic moment right there. <laughs> He's winded himself, diving at least watching goal. Oh, wow. Like a salmon. Oh. Two. He started well with a four. Or oh, has he? Is that Jesse Ryder? No, it's not. Corey Anderson. With the wrong hand as well. Remember that Corey Anderson is left-handed. Have a look at this. He's had to dive. The ball's over. It's over the boundary. But he's dived. He's in the air. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant work with the right hand. How athletic is that? That is terrific. It's gone down towards the long on. And again. <laughs> oh, well. Well, well, well. We saw Morley a little earlier catch one and then have to throw it back over the boundary. Billy Barton will call for the television umpire to have a look at this. I think he's managed to push it in. I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before, but I'm going six. I'm with you. Andy! We both are on base. He might have got a fingertip to himself, the bowler. And, oh, what a great effort. It might have been four. They'll check it. I'm certain about that. But this shot initially not far away from the bowler himself. Oh, he's living dangerously as the Indian skipper, MS Dhoni. Yeah, McClinigan might have just got a wee finger on it. Look at the chase from the New Zealand skipper. The afterburners go on about there and then the dive. Oh, I tell you what, that might be brilliant. That might well have saved his side a run or two. That is so difficult to do. In the air, fielders out there and over his head. He pulls it back in, however. Sensational work out there. He was never going to catch it. If he did catch it, it would have been six. So the athletic Russell saves runs out there by knocking the ball back into play. We've seen this from the Australians. Now look at this one. This is NBA stuff. That is superb feeling. Andre Russell. The word on him is uh, he can bat, can bowl, and he's one of the best fields in running around. That is a save. I think that they've got a, a trump there. If it loses pace, that's a good shot on the up. Outfield will get quicker. Oh, no, don't want to see that. Don't want to see that. New Zealand's most valuable player committing himself like that. Goodness me, oh, we don't want to see that happen. No, but a lovely shot by Dilshan. Hit it on the top of the bounce. McCullum chased it hard, as he always does. Decides to dive. Save four, but straight into the advertising hoardings. Just check to see if his head went into it opportunities for Australia. They've got to be ready to pounce. The bowling's going to help them out. Matt Durant will be gone. There is a pounce if ever I've seen one. That is brilliant work. The old foot skills. Well, we've seen Mitchell Johnson do this a couple of times throughout the year. Peterson, I think, feels he's gone. He, he was about to continue running. Started taking his gloves off and then stopped, but oh, he's got to go here. He's out by a metre. Mitchell Johnson has done it beautifully. Just win Australia. Ah! Big question. Big question. It's gone under the stumps. Has he run out? I think he's been thrown out. Let's have a look at this. It'll be an interesting dismissal. The shout was for LB. Was Jones having a bit of a sleep? Let's have a look at it. Who threw it? 
I think it's Ponting off the pad after the LBW appeal, and they think they've got him, Tony. Well, they, uh, they weren't appealing for uh, anything other than the LBW early on, and that was clearly not out. And then all of a sudden, it came from behind. So uh, this is what happened. The ball flicked up. He's out of his ground, clearly. And uh, does he get it back? And uh, no, that is out. So Ponting... Brilliant fielding. You've got to give it to India. They look so up for this. Fantastic work. And England have lost a wicket just when they don't need to. That was a terrible call. No run whatsoever. He's taken on Mohamed Kaif, who's one of the best fielders in the Indian team. He was on to it in a flash. And Nick Knight had no chance whatsoever. He had to hit direct. And he's done exactly that. And that is... That's exactly... Yeah, we'll take it six Too fast. Yeah. Cutting that angle. He, he's already there, you see. Yeah. And if he took the ball and took the ball and took the ball, he would also reach the He was so quick. It was absolutely brilliant. Mark, what was Nick Knight thinking? I'm not sure. Nick Knight is normally a very, very good judge of a run. Got to go. It's Andrew Simons. And he gets it. What a run out. He is a king. Not only is he a power player with the bat, he was, is required time and time again in the field. And he has... It went from the sublime to the ridiculous. White on target with the throw. And the batsmen are stuffing things up on their own. Bell well out of time with his dance steps. Bell was Umpire not interested in demand, could be run out. And Jonty Rhodes has demolished the stunts. And umpire Bucknor has given him out. The flying leap with Pike. Well, it was going to require some brilliant fielding or some brilliant work in the field and a better man. You could not find the Jonty Rhodes. Inzamam was hit on the pad. He was looking for the single and lumbered down the wicket. Imran was never interested. Jonty Rhodes knew there was a chance, decided not to throw other than himself. He gets there first and wipes everything out. Umpire Steve Buckner, no hesitation. And that may well be the piece of fielding that South Africa needed. Nice off drive, beautifully timed on the up, full face of the bat, they should run forth, they go hard. Long boundary, and they're coming back, and that's good running. Just gets there, in fact I'm not sure and he's back down, this could well be out. Very casual in the last drive or two, did he ground the bat? I think not, the Australians are very confident. A direct hit, it was a magnificent throw from the long boundary. Greg Blewett, and if that's run out, that's very careless running. He was there, I think his bat may have been in the air. Watch this throw from Blewett. Where's the bat? Good long 70 metre throw. Where is the batsman? Oh, I think he may be just in. It's short. What a tragic way to get run out on the Adelaide over. Viewers who have been watching race five at Rosehill Gardens. There was a magnificent cover drive.